If you're someone who plays multiplayer games, any live service out there, the big ones like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, um, Apex Legends, and so on, you know something about Battle Passes, which has uh, been a form of business model for the last couple of years with almost every single live service, especially the ones that are free to play. Um, emphasis on free because what happens is that these live services lock a lot of the rewards and virtual cosmetics through battle passes. The fair trade is, the proposition value here is, you pay $10 for that season and you get to, for the next 90 days, grind out this tier, this tier battle pass. Um, and every time you level it up, you get some kind of reward, you know, a skin, an emblem, an emote, so on and so forth. And, you know, it's always been a reasonable trade-off because it's only $10 and you're already playing the game. You might as well get some, re you know, rewards for it. And there's been many of these battle passes where the trade-off is if you finish the entire battle pass, you can get enough in-game currency to afford the next season battle pass. Until <laughs> Apex Legends, uh, Respawn Entertainment developers behind Apex Legends have come up with an entirely new predatory battle pass for the upcoming 22nd season in early August. And the reaction from the player base has been overwhelmingly negative. They have been review bombing Apex Legends on Steam for the first half of July and nobody is happy. So what really happened here? So basically, Respawn Entertainment decided to bring in a new cost structure for the battle pass, uh, for the upcoming battle pass, where you normally pay $10 for a battle pass, 20 if you want to skip a few tiers, get a bit of a premium bundle. This time around, they're giving out two separate battle passes one you can buy with in-game currency if you've earned it and the other is purely real cash only you can only buy it with real money and this is where people are absolutely furious because it comes off as anti-consumer anti-user friendly and it also is very predatory this is what we call a div we call this like a very sc scummy and scammy business model where it's already they're gouging us for battle passes microtransactions paywalls $20 30 50 uh, skins cosmetic skins and now they're like oh here's a battle pass where you can't even earn it with in-game currency that you spend time and commitment for you actually have to put money down for it as well and this does not sit well with anyone. It doesn't sit well with me, to be honest, because if this is tolerated, every other live service out there that ru that operates a battle pass uh, cost structure, they're gonna implement this. They're gonna be like, oh, look, um, the, Apex, uh, the Apex Legends community was okay with this. Why don't we bring it into Warzone? Why don't we bring it into Fortnite? Because this is what happens. A lot of these game companies are always watching each other on how they monetize their live services. If they come up with any new idea, any form of business model or paywall or microtransaction system that makes them money, they're gonna implement it. So I'm glad that the community of fans out there, especially the player base for Apex Legends, put their foot down on this and are saying no uh, through review bombs, through the forums, expressing their complete disdain for this because it cannot be tolerated. I understand that these live services have to find ways to monetize their multiplayer uh, games, but this is not the right step. This is kind of taking things backwards. It's predatory, it's anti-consumer, and it's, ni it's basically nickel and diming people's wallets just for the privilege to have an extra reward system in your life service and the worst part about battle passes and it's one of the things i don't i've done a couple of them on overwatch and destiny they are a legitimate commitment once you put down that ten dollars into a battle pass you are 
forced for the next 90 days to try to finish that entire reward system, that entire battle pass, or you miss out on all the you miss out on all the rewards unless you want to pay actual money to skip the tiers. And it becomes such a grind fest. It makes the multiplayer game that I'm playing I feel like a chore. I, I just don't like it. There's actually been exceptions to the fact, like Halo Infinite and Helldivers 2, who've implemented battle passes that don't have an expiration date. You can go back to it as long as you've bought it. You can go back to it and try to grind it out and get the rewards anytime you want. But I don't know why there's this implementation of FOMO, fear of missing out on most of these live services. They are really trying to force you to jump into these games. You got 90 days, grind it out, the next season, so on and so forth. And it's comes, it becomes like a vicious cycle. You know, I, I think that kind of that kind of business model, that kind of implementation in multiplayer games is not healthy. Not healthy. And this is this is one of those situations where Apex Legends entertainment the uh respawn entertainment studio and electronic arts you're not getting away with this one <laughs> not this time players are not stupid and we won't tolerate this type of predatory action but you guys let me know do text me enjoy the conversation would love to hear from you guys let's take a short break and we'll be covering more news from the world of entertainment right here on the evening buzz stay tuned if you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.